The show is truly iconic. Law and Order is now in its 20th season, and an all new episode of SVU is coming up tonight at 8. Team 12's Crystal Henderson cross examines the stars on set in New York. Action. It's on to the next case. Law and Order SVU is filmed in a real Manhattan courthouse, and the show's stars are giving us exclusive access. These are their stories. Bum bum. Dun dun. Dun dun. Oh, that's good. And we call that Dick Wolf's cash register. So you know who's good at it. He's actually Dick Wolf's really good at it. Really? And he also, so he has, <laughs> he has it as his ringtone and his <laughs> text message. So we're in a table read the other day. It's kind of to celebrate coming back for 20 years. And whose phone goes off? But Dick, Dick Wolf's phone goes off and it goes, Bum bum, and we're like, you've got to be kidding. Well, thanks for welcoming me into your office. Nice place you got here. Here, here we are. This is it. This is home for Peter Stone. Can you tell me a little behind the scenes secret of something in your office? I, you know, every time I come in, there's something new. I, <laughs> they tried. They put weights in here, which is hilarious. Why is there weights? There's a baseball bat. You know, the history. He played baseball in Chicago. He was a pitcher for the Cubs. There's lots of little things that just crop up every time we do an episode, and it's always interesting to see what they put in. The verdict's out, and they're shooting a press scene on the steps of the courthouse right now. What the hell just happened? Yeah, the DA just asked the same thing, not as politely. Family sucks together, that's a tough nut to crack. Yeah. Well, should have used a bigger hammer. Cut. Nearly 20 years yeah. of telling all of these stories and shining a light on all of these victims. Yeah. What has been your proudest moment? It's very rare that you can do a show that actually helps people. So that, that's a proud moment, to be on something that's doing more than entertaining, it's helping. When you're in character, say, arresting a criminal, how much do you maybe draw upon street experience that you've <laughs> had in the being arrested? Yeah, I used to do a lot of ride-alongs in the back of the car, handcuffed. You know, I was a career criminal before I started doing this, so it was very easy for me to understand how they operate. A lot of times when I'm acting, though, I don't even think of myself as a cop. I'm actually using more of my street stuff. So when I'm interrogating you, I don't even think of me as a cop. I'm just like, well, you stole my money, and I want to know where my money is. Because cops and gangsters are the exact same actor. They both have an attitude, they both carry a gun, and they both want answers or there'll be a consequence. How much has Plain Thin shaped you and perhaps changed your perspective on law enforcement and the law? I still feel the same way, that cops are people, and they're capable of being good, bad, and corrupt. Fortunately, the cop I play is a good cop. And he does play a good cop. Yeah. I could, and when he was talking about, you know, just getting getting into it and forgetting the lines or whatever, I mean, you could see that come through. He's just being himself. Yeah, he's he, tough. He's one of those multi-talented forces yeah, in entertainment. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Ice-T. No. 